Hi class, welcome to the credit cards tab of major assignment two. On this tab, you're going to be examining what it's like to pay off a credit card using the minimum payment each month. And then at the very last tab on the budget, you're going to decide on how much you actually want to pay to the credit card if you're going to follow the minimum payment or if you're going to pay more than that. Okay, so starting with part five, you will have a problem that be appears below the part five. If your problem does not appear, make sure you go back to the very start of the assignment and put your name in the blue cell. In this problem in part five, you're going to be given the parameters for your credit card. You're going to be given the balance it's at, the percentage that you are going to be paying of interest, the APR, the annual percentage rate. You're going to be given the payment amount, the minimum payment amount, which is going to be the percentage of a current balance or a fixed amount. So the first thing you want to do is you want to unpack your problem. Take all the information from your problem, write it down in all of your green cells, and then make sure you format appropriately. All of your formatting instructions are going to be in part 5A. So I'm going to take the formula, or sorry, the problem I have, and I'm going to fill out all of my green cells. All right, so I filled in all of my information from the problem above. They're green cells, so I did not need to use an Excel formula. I typed in all my information, and I made sure to format it all according to the instructions. And again, the instructions are going to be in that part 5A. Once you have that all filled out, now you can move on to part 5B. In part 5B, we're going to fill out a table that goes statement by statement through your credit card. So we're going to look at your credit card spending month by month. Not your spending, but we're going to look at how you're going to pay this off. Because we're not spending any more money. I apologize. We're not spending. But we're going to look at how we pay off this credit card. So when you look at this table, you're going to see that current balance already sitting in that first cell. That current balance should match the current balance you put above. So for my problem, my current balance is 2150 so that is matching, so that's good to go. Now the payment amount. For the payment amount, you are using the minimum payment. The minimum payment, as listed above in your problem, where is it at? The minimum payment is going to be the maximum of the percentage of the current balance or the fixed amount. So in your information here, your minimum payment is going to be the maximum of 2.50% of the current balance or $25. So when you set up a payment formula, you need to use a max function that finds the maximum of 2.5% of the current balance for that row and $25. There is a note down below that helps you with the max function, so please make sure you read the note about making the payment. You also want to set up this payment so at the very end you make a payment of zero dollars. So at the very end, your final payment is going to be the remainder on the credit card statement that will be below the minimum payment. That will just be the final amount you're going to pay, so make sure you zero it out at the end. Okay, so after you make your payment, your balance after the payment is going to be the current balance minus the payment, and then you're going to find the interest for that period. The interest is going to be based on your percentage APR. The APR is a yearly percentage, so make sure you scale that down by the 12 to get the monthly percentage, because again, we're looking at this month by month. Okay, so here I've started filling in my table so you can see an example. So again, I've got my current balance that will start for you. I have my payment. My payment is the minimum of that percent of the current balance or the fixed minimum. So I'm finding the minimum of that 2.5% and my current balance, 2.5% of my current balance, minimum of that, and $25. And then the balance after the payment is taking my current balance minus the payment. And then the interest is based on the balance after the payment. So for the interest, use the APR percentage and make sure you scale it for each month and base it off of the balance after the payment. Repeat the process and keep working your way down the table. Use autofill to help you. And then you want to get to the point where you're seeing all zeros. So you want to get to the point where you see that final payment that's below any of your minimums. You pay it off and you get to all zeros at the end of your credit card statement. After you finish filling out the credit card statement line by line in part 5B, I apologize, I keep saying statement, but the payment schedule, it's not statements, but payment schedule. 
Once you fill out the payment schedule month by month in Part 5B, then you want to move on to Part 5C and use your table to answer the questions. So how many years did it take you to pay this off? So use the table to figure out how many months it took you to pay this and then scale that to the number of years. Make sure you use Excel formulas with cell references. Then figure out the total amount you paid. This is all of the payments you made along with all of the interest you made. Use the table to help you figure this out. And then finally, figure out the total amount of interest you paid. So the total amount you paid is all of the payments with the interest. And then the total amount of interest is only the interest you paid on this credit card. I hope this helps. Let your instructor know if you have any questions.